Welcome to Knit Puck. I'm Carrie, also known as Jaded Knitter, and it is the 25th of January, 2016. And this is our first episode in a month and a half. <laughs> it is episode 11. You know what I mean. Um, so as you can tell, there there is has been change behind me. Um, these walls are actually green. Uh, I may have a small thing for green, just in case nobody noticed that exactly what it was. Um, so yeah, I am still unpacking. So what you see is the neat corner of my house. You can't see is the massive amount of boxes behind me. But I have officially moved. I am started my new position today, actually, because um, it's Monday. And I should record this Friday. Bit of small issue with the camera, namely I couldn't find it. Um, I found it late last night, decided I'd record tonight instead, um, and then couldn't find the tripod. It's here somewhere, because it was with the camera, and now it's not. And I have a few things that have gone missing. So you're kind of, you're going to have to live with the, the weird close-up fixed shot. Um, so yeah, knitting stuff. There has been knitting. Um, there has actually been a fair amount of knitting. Uh, I did do, I did finish the mittens that go with my diamond knit dust pattern, uh, with the hat. And I've finished part of the pattern for it. Unfortunately, the mitts are currently in Ottawa and I am no longer in Ottawa. So they were a Christmas gift. Um, I'm planning on making another pair for myself. So you will see when I make them. Um, with them, I, I, I was distracted and I finished them, me, the friend who they were for, um, and actually Janet, hi Janet, had all gone over to my parents' place along with my brother and his girlfriend. Uh, think they're dating? They might be. You're still watching her <laughs> um, So we'd gone over to my parents' place for Christmas dinner and I'm so happy I finished both mitts. I had Jesse try one on um, as I was finishing off the other one. So I finished the other one, handed it over to her, and she put it on the same hand. I had with, completely without realizing it, knit right hand mitts. Did not even register in my brain that I used the same chart for both mittens. Same chart that had um, thumb gussets, patterned thumb gussets. Yeah. So I ripped it back. <laughs> kind of it. Um, mainly this had been done because I had never actually charted the other mitten. I just picked up the pattern and went, okay, and started over. I'm going to blame it on mass destruction. That, that is my story, and I am sticking to it, because December was just, wow, January was much better. <laughs> As you can tell by the fact that my house is still boxes, lots and lots of boxes. Um, so yes, I'm playing with yarn, so I will get to the knitting portion of events. Um, I started this, actually, on this on a Friday. This is a pair of socks and you'll notice I am actually doing them top down and that is because these ones have to be done top down. Uh, they are, I found these this before I left Ottawa um, at one of the local yarn stores which I happened to wander into because it's next door to my doctor's office and I had to go see the doc before I left. Suffice to say, I was there, I wandered in, yarn was purchased. Um, so that's what these are. These are um, Regia. And uh, there we go. As you can see in here, it's a color changing pattern, but it's only on the top of the sock. Um, and they've actually, they've done it quite brilliantly. You start one from the inside and the other one from the outside. So you can actually do these two at a time. Um, 
and that's what this yellow stuff is. This is actually the leader cord for socks. So you take this and you unwind it until you get to the, essentially until you get to this point where it's all the light brown and then you start knitting and it ends up like that. And I am actually doing these um, I'm doing these 72 stitches. I don't normally do 72. I normally do 68, I think. Um, but I'm doing it that way because I am doing uh, it on size zero. So these are two millimeter US zero. And I am doing that because, unfortunately, uh, I tend to probably not even my Twitter account over Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day at my parents' place, I pulled out my knitting needles and yeah, my diacraft, one of my US um, ones, so my 2.25, had snapped in two places. And my father fixed it, but when I started knitting with it again, it re snapped in one spot, so I about and decided that since I was doing these larger than I normally do anyway, I was just going to do them on zeros. This is making me feel better. And so far it's working. The The cuff I did on uh, a 2.25, the US 1, and I'm just, I switched over to still the diacrafts. These are just my uh, two millimeters for the body. So that is one thing. I'm doing. And then the other one is a pair of socks, which you guys have probably seen before. Um, it is black yarn, black lamb yarns, um, and they are local to New Dyer. They're actually more local now because they're from southern Ontario and that's where they moved. Um, so these are my standard toe up, um, front row heel socks. As far as I've gotten on the second one. So I'm past the heel and going up the side. And yeah. That's all the knitting. Um, and the other thing, because of the snap the needle, so I figured I'd pull something else out to knit. So I had pulled out one of the Um, so I pulled out Insanity. There's a hole in it. And it snapped. I don't know what happens, but the yarn, I pulled it off the needles and was pulling it back, and the yarn just keeps breaking apart, breaking apart, and breaking apart. Um, and it was not doing this before, so I'm assuming something happened to it. The ball has a hole in it. Yarn ball has a hole going right through the ball part, um, eaten through. So I'm assuming a bug got at it. I have not found any other issues with any of the rest of my sash. So nothing else appears to have a problem. Um, just that. So I'm currently waiting until I've unpacked uh, the other skeins of yarn. Uh, that match that because I had more than enough to do that because I was planning on doing Insanity Take Two otherwise known as this is the Princess Doll and it's from Heirloom, Heirloom Knitting and by Shannon Miller um, and I was planning on doing this one as Insanity Take Two. Um, as Insanity appears to be currently cursed, um, I'm thinking I'm going to pull out the other yarn and start there. So, depending on how things go next week, we might be getting the beginnings of Insanity Take Two. Uh, yes, that is a book. That is a book with 
float charts. Large float charts. So yes, definitely insanity takes you. Um, because insanity, there, there was no solving it. I have to check the rest of the yarn and I'm going to check the rest of my stash as I pull it out. Like I said, so far I have found no other issues. Nothing. Um, the upside is insanity had actually been elsewhere in my apartment, so it was not the place that I was living in. Um, and then when I moved, it was actually not put in with the rest of the stash. It was thrown in um, with just a couple of things. None of that yarn has been affected. So, fingers crossed. Um, yes, I can actually cross toes. I have to lean away and do it. Just ignore that. <laughs> I'm rambling. I'm rambling. So yeah, I will find my uh, pie pot for next week. Because at least I'll get a head start. Just so that you can see things better. And hopefully there will be a little more of the apartment. Um, So there will be something a little more visual behind me um, because what you can see of the shelves is the neat part. What I'm not showing is the part where I just pulled stuff out of boxes and I'm like, well, this needs to go somewhere else. So I'll just put it here for now. I, I might have done that. With yeah, anyway. Um, there is a pug. He is enjoying the new place because he has a friend downstairs who's um, mummy is, has actually been taking me out for walks. Um, so the two of them, him and his new buddy Curly, is a poodle mix. A little poodle mix. Well, not little, he's the size. Um, I keep calling him a beach mom, but apparently he's a poodle. Um, they've been going out for walks. And I've been enjoying the new place. Hi. Yeah, that's it. That's all for right now. Um, there will be more next week. And as I settle in, there will be even more because I'm in a small town. I don't really know anybody. So I'm going to be doing a lot of knitting. An awful lot of knitting. And watching the YouTube and whatnot. I'm scratching his forehead. Well, his tail. Anyways, we're going. Bye.